It's not like the Academy Awards where you've got just Best Picture. There's there's Best Picture Drama and Best Picture Comedy. Um, right. But so let's start with, let's start with Best Picture Drama. To me, it's a one it's a one movie race here. Boyhood, right? Nobody nobody can touch it. Film really? achievement. Yeah, well, that's what I think. Uh, what do you think? I think you're right, but I'm not going to say that it's a one, that it's a foregone conclusion because don't forget that the Golden Globes are voted on by like 80 people, so one vote can make the difference. All it takes is one vote to really love the imitation game or to just swoon crazily over Eddie Redmayne and the theory of everything, and Boyhood could lose. But you're right; um, it is the critical favorite for sure. Yep, Sharon, you don't think there's any chance Selma could win that award, do you? Um, I'm not, for the Golden Globes, I'm not feeling like it's got the momentum to win the Golden Globe. Okay. Um, you, you're, you're picking Birdman in the, in the motion picture comedy musical. Is there any real competition for Birdman in that category? I mean, no. And let me tell you why. The, the, the Golden Globe voters, who are a group of foreign freelance writers and journalists, some journalists, some erstwhile journalists, they want to be seen as credible. It's very important to them. And so I think they like to pick films that feel like it, 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 A, it has consensus, and B, has the stamp of the artistic community. And they want to be picking something that's kind of forward-looking. So Birdman's kind of wacky and um, smart because um, that's what Alejandro Inarritu does. He does smart right, and right, edgy. All right, we're going we're, we're gonna to pick up the pace here. We don't have the whole three hours that uh, yeah, Tina we, Fey no, has. No, so, we don't right, have three Actor, actor <laughs> in a drama, who do you like for that? Uh, Eddie, Eddie Redmayne, in Theory of Everything, he plays Stephen Hawking. Uh, I'm pretty sure about that one. Okay, okay. How, about, how about actress in a drama? We're hoping you're going to say it's Julianne Moore because she's our favorite actress. Yeah, well, I'm really glad she's your favorite actress because she's probably going to win. Yeah, for still Alice, weird. she plays a she plays a woman with um, Alzheimer's. I couldn't remember. Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, actor in a comedy, Keaton, right? Yeah, Michael Keaton's gonna probably win for Birdman. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that acceptance speech. That'll be fun. I gotta say, I loved Ray Fiennes in Grand Budapest Hotel. He was brilliant. I thought. Go back and watch it yeah. again. Yeah, uh, I love him too, and I'd, I wish he would win. Um, how about the actress? Win. How about the actress in a comedy musical? That seems like a really tough category. Well. I like the best supporting category even better, actually. But Amy Adams is probably going to take it for Big Eyes. She plays um, a, the painter of the Big Eyes paintings, Margaret Keene. And she's good, and she's done a lot, a lot of good work in recent years. So I think All people right, are liking her. What's the over-under on number of Sony jokes? <laughs> I, you know, Tina Fey and Amy Poehler have said all, all these jokes are like open for uh, open game, uh, open season on those jokes, and including Bill Cosby jokes. Cosby, yeah. So I don't yeah, see more, like the Cosby more, versus Sony. That I'd look at the spread there. More, more Cosby jokes or more Sony jokes? Yeah, I'm going to say I'm going to go with Cosby. Okay, let's do real quick the, your, your TV series picks in drama and comedy. Um, uh, with this, uh, the drama, I think, hopefully will get us into our lane a little bit here on politics. Go. House of Cards. Drama? TV? Yeah. House of Cards. Yeah. I think House that's going to go. for sure. Yeah. Okay. And comedy? Um, like, I, um, I think that's going to be a, that's going to be a tougher one to know. I mean, I, there, there's, um, I was looking at... What do you guys like for comedy? Well, we love Jeffrey Tambor, so we're hoping for Transparent. Oh, really? Okay, well, I don't yeah. think that, uh, that would be a, right. for that Sharon, would be a very daring go. win.